happened that you happened to come to the hospital? I was uh, out riding in my car with two other people going down this hill when all of a sudden it turned over. And uh, I was arrested, of course, for that, you know. And they were going to turn me loose, except that they called in and said the Army had AWOL out on me, which is a lie, of course. But they arrested me there and took me here under escort. Why do you think they brought you to a psychiatric hospital? Um, uh, orders from somewhere else, I would assume. Did you do anything that they might have misinterpreted as being, you know, something that you should have been brought to a psychiatric hospital? Well, mostly fear is why they didn't want to uh, hang on to me too long. What were they afraid of? Well, <laughs> I'm a known killer. <laughs> Where they come from, so, uh... What do you mean? It's a pretty touchy thing being around me if you're on the wrong side. They don't relish having a hold of me unless I'm inside of a cage or something. What do you mean that you're a known killer? I have killed. How many people have you killed? Several hundreds. Where did you kill them? Chicago, Detroit, New York, Mississippi Gulf, California, Texas. Why did you kill them? Because they were um, in the uh, act of uh, violent crimes. Like what? Like murder, rape, brutal beatings, uh, extortion, um, illicit drug trafficking. Did you kill them? Yes. To, to prevent them from doing that or what? Well, when it got back to their leaders, it did stop quite a few illegal events from happening. What do you mean by their leaders? Their highest in command. Are you talking about the Mafia or what? Yes, indeed. Mafiosi, Cosa Nostra. They used to be the same, but they're no longer. They divided up in this nation, and a few from other nations that were stepping on illegal grounds for information gathering purposes. What made you decide to take it into your own hands to do that? I was the highest ranking official at the time. Highest ranking official in what? In intelligence. Oh, so you work in intelligence? Yes. What were you doing when you were in the car that crashed? I was enjoying myself by self-medicating myself with hashish. And you were an intelligence officer then? Yes. And they didn't mind that you were taking drugs? I have... You don't seem to understand. They're not drugs. They're curative procedures for top international agents, which is what they use. Hashish and marijuana. What do they cure you of? What do they cure us of? Uh, malaise. Uh, pedentry. Primarily, pedentry is the main thing they cure. The thing they work the best on is... Uh, ease of mind, less worry, relaxing, uh, which when there is that much of a schedule before you, it's difficult to do without aid from some substance or another. What do you mean pedentry? Is that something you can see? Economic pedentry. I'm not familiar with that word at all. Economic pedentry, that's severe pedentry. What is pedentry? Pedentry is uh, pain, exertion, anxiety with no uh, loving care, you know? And the best cure for that is uh, rest, relaxation, and marijuana, and hashish, and uh, woman. Woman used to be the only known cure for pedentry, and in some cases, severe pedentry. But hashish is really the main cure, or the main stepping stone. But to... Um, remove the things that bring pedentry on the next time, those moods have to be satisfied, along with the uh, uh, cure. What kinds of things did you do in intelligence besides killing people? Tracking, coding, filing. Okay. Do the people in intelligence know that you're here? Beg your pardon? Do the people in intelligence, your superiors, know that... They certainly do, yes. Why haven't they... Uh, that was a reply from them right then. That is a correct and yes, ma'am, if you wish, then that is what you may do.
Oh, you can hear them? No. I can read the uh, comp prints. Where? Yes, sir. We do believe she was just about ready to come to that realization, but she's not so certain herself, and that we said in another second that she would appear to prove that. That was in that one eight second verse there. What can you see? Things coming from my head, or...? No. I can read the code levels in the, uh, comp. Um, print? Uh, what is a comp print? Some kind of computer printout or something? Those particular lights that they're not necessarily a code printout, but um, they're uh, human-based. So you get them from lights. Uh, where do you see them? Beg your pardon? Where do you see the comp prints? Uh, behind me. In front of me. Just out in the air? They're like switches in mood. Yeah, yes, but you must be able to read and decipher them. I've been trained all my life to read them. I am the best. I am the highest IQ'd. I am the best reader and uh, the best leader in the comp forces. What does the comp stand for? Comp? Um, compliance? Yes, when it's broken down into absolute basics, but it's an intelligence word. And a comp base is um, a comp base is where men uh, work together to decide to what extent we're going to have to go, you know, to uh, certain areas. How did the intelligence people? And that's 1990 comp print right there. 1990. What do you mean? Yes, that's where I just came from. They were able to trace and decipher my route from there, three times. We're in '83, 1983, right? That's. 83 print there, and that's uh, 84. So you know the future? And that's 90. You've been in the future? Yes, and in the past. That's where I just came from not more than two weeks ago. Why did they transport you back to the past? Because that part of Armageddon was reaching a certain particular point. Uh, we were um, no longer needed. We have to go to the past. So, what did you do in the past? What was your mission in the past? Um, run supplies, detect enemy agents, uh, aid those who are wounded and in need of help, and uh, mainly clear our comps in the past. There are certain messages spelled out through the universe. And what are you going to do next? Uh, what's in the future? Well, after, um, after I crawl off the cross, it's going to be pretty final, you know? You're going to go on a cross? Yes. How's that? I'm headed for the first John the Baptist. What do you mean? The one who died on the cross beside Jesus. Only he didn't die there. You are that same person? I am the same person. Or are you going to do that again? I'm going to do that for the first time. I haven't got there yet. Oh, you're going to go back in time. Back yes. to the past. What's the purpose of that? The purpose of that? Well, it has a number of different purposes. But um, other than a tribute to those who are living and guaranteed to their lives, uh, you know, because infiltration among the normal people was heavy for a while. And uh, there are proofs that uh, we are going to extend to change it and uh, that we are suffering as they are. So just bear with it and bear your torment, and if you can, help someone. This is what it means from our side. And we're also telling the bad, which is like they're uh, newly created, such as all the demons and devils and everything, uh, you know, that, uh, which is that they are proof that they are not the only ones that are doing this, you know, and to stay away except in certain circumstances. Are you a very religious person? I am a Lord God, Jehovah. You are God? Yes, I am. I'm the head of my entire race. Have you been having any trouble sleeping lately? No. Have you had any trouble getting to sleep or with waking up very early? That is where it is, waking up early. You wake up early? Yes. How early? Incredibly early. Oakdale was about the worst thing there was. 
What was Oakdale? Oakdale was where I underwent torture and becking procedures for a long time. What kind of procedures? I'm sorry. Becking. That's when, like, your brain and your body reach a certain extent, you know? That mind sort of rebels with a colorful display of lighting, which is sometimes red, sometimes light gray, sometimes light blue, and particularly white. That's known as beck. And when a god gets so much pressure on him, then he becks, which uh, fills the entire body, which uh, doesn't do much for the pedentary. Is pedentary somehow associated with your hands? Well, I can feel it. Here. See? That's pedentary, that's shaking. It's, uh, shooken up a bit now, which is how they've tried to cure it, which is uh, dispersing it as much as possible throughout my body, uh, which means it needs to be fed immediately. Do you ever have the feeling that all of a sudden some alien forces withdraw all the thoughts from your head? That has occurred once or twice, yes. Who? Is, is that the enemy again that does that? It certainly is. How do you explain that they're able to do that? Because according to the laws, since they were created, uh, which was deficient of a, uh, or a, a normal life expectancy, that they are permitted to attack the Lord God whose fault it was in the first place, uh, which is what gets them to hell in a hurry and to the other side where they are not involved anymore. In between that, fear and frustration, and until it comes to something like that, they don't even wait. They just sink a band, and it goes into the very center of my being, and is encompassed where it is not speaking anymore. And it comes back again later? Yes. They know how to operate machinery as well as men. Do you ever hear voices that other people can't hear? Voices that other people can't hear. Seems that way, yes. Do you hear them inside of your head, or do you hear them with your ears as if they were in the room? And what kinds of things do they say to you? It's mostly in the mind that they speak. What do they say? Um, I don't know, just torment you. Just that what I did caused such and such a disaster here, and that what I did caused such and such a disaster there. Whose voices are they, do you think? I'm not sure. Are they men's or women's voices? Both. Men's, women's, and children. By the way, I hope you're through. Why's that? Because I'm getting tired of saying things that you already know. But I don't already know these things. I'd like to call a halt to this if possible and get back to it another day. I just have a few more questions to ask you. <clears throat> Couldn't we uh, hold off on these for a while? 